Okay. Uh, my name is Mitri, and I'm CTO and co-founder of GitLab. And I always start with a table of contents. Yeah, I like to know what will happen next. No surprises. So what we are going to talk about. Uh, I start with an overview of GitLab. So you know, have an idea about the uh, product, about the company. Then I talk a bit about the growing our team, and then uh, about our silver bullet, yeah, the way how we handle all this, it's uh, the team handbook. Let's go. Okay, it's open source project, right? Uh, it has more than 2,000 contributors. I started in 2011, and uh, it's great, yeah, it's popular. So uh, GitLab also a single application to cover all stages of DevOps. What that means? Simply, it's software to build software, yeah? If we talk in a more complex way, it's a uh, way to host your code, to run issue tracker, to run tests, to deploy, uh, many different things. Uh, what is really important for this conference is that GitLab is a fully remote company, like not a single office. Now, GitLab team contains 300 people in 40 countries, and all of them are full-time remote workers. GitLab started as a company of two people, remote from day one. Uh, I never met my co-founder in person before. <laughs> Actually, I met him like a year probably after we started the company. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's really hard, but anyway, uh, we grow to 10 people in two years, right? 10 people in two years, pretty easy, yeah? Like you hire one new people, you like load him with all the information you have in your brain, he's shocked, yeah? And in a month or two, he's fine, and then you hire another one. Uh, yeah, but let's talk about startups, yeah? That's what happens in startups in one year. <laughs> so now the problem is like how you load the knowledge of 10 people that you collected over several years into the brain of 100 people in less than a year. So one problem, yeah? We need to scale our knowledge, right? Uh, everything that I knew, I want all other engineers to know, right? Uh, everything that uh, we know about how company runs, policies, processes, everyone should be aware of it, yeah? Second one, we need to preserve our knowledge. What does that mean? That means that if you have only one account manager, and they left the company, yeah? And you have no idea where your customer's data is. Yeah, you're in trouble. Um, yeah, so eventually we end up documenting everything, yeah? It started as documenting uh, features for a product, then some contribution guides and processes, policies. And we end up with GitLab Team Handbook. It's a public web page, yeah? You can access it with your phone. Uh, it's, uh, think about it as a Wikipedia for your company. It's central repository, like central repository for how you run the company. So it means all the information is stored one place. It's a single point of truth. If printed, it consists of more than 1,000 pages of text. So it's huge, it's really huge. <laughs> uh, it answers any question about the company. It's about structure, about policies, uh, about, yeah, all sort of things, like, for example, uh, how do I take a day off, right? You just go to the handbook, you go day off, you get the answer, like, create a calendar event, inform your manager, and follow this process, yeah? Another question, uh, for example, how will company pay for my uh, co-working space, yeah? You Google for co-working in a handbook, you get the answer, yeah? Even such thing like how I move to different country, right? We are all remote, we change our locations, so I want to know, like maybe company supports uh, relocation, right? Like legal one. Physically, yeah, we're all free to go. <laughs> so it really answers any question that any of our employee can be wondering about, not only on board in process, right? But a year ago, two years ago, we have a Pretty simple room, uh, rule, if something is missing and you ask a question, right? Like you were wondering about vacation policy and you went to the Slack and like, 
hey guys, do you know what our vacation policy? And someone answered your question. You must document it in the handbook. It's your responsibility. Moreover, you need to put a link to the handbook now in the Slack. So everyone else who will search for information in Slack, yeah, will find the link to the handbook and uh, you don't need to repeat the information, yeah? Everything is always in draft. That's our idea behind handbook. There are no releases, yeah? Every day, handbook re receives 100 changes probably. Everyone in the company adds something, removes something, factors something. And one another important uh, feature of the handbook, it's public, right? I can Google search it, you can Google search it, everyone Google, uh, can Google search it. It's uh, not only nice for team members, it's really nice for people who want to work for your company. We, have, we save probably tons of hours of time because candidates already know everything about the company, how it works, what our policies are, mm, what, our, what compensation can they expect, and so on. Everything is there. So when they uh, go for an interview, they don't waste uh, people's time asking the same question over and over, over again. They ask a specific questions, yeah? Another thing is it is great, it uh, improves your retention. People who apply to you, who read uh, the handbook, they already knew how the company operates, what to expect. They won't be disappointed a month later because company uh, was not what they expected it to be. It's exactly how it's written in the handbook. And that's one of the things about the handbook is that it's not what we are going to do, it's not what uh, we did, it's what we do right now. So if you are doing some temporary policy, you document it in handbook. You might remove it in a month or in two months, but you must definitely document it if it's what you do right now. And I want to uh, finish it with uh, feedback from a team members because it shows three uh, nice cases how people love the handbook. The first one is about uh, our interviewer. In, uh, I think it's, uh, it was a salesperson. And he was asked during the interview what our policy about H-1B, a working visa in the United States. And he didn't know it, right? We, no one of us knows the handbook. Like, it's huge, right? So he just searched in the handbook for visa policy and just uh, shared a link with the candidate. Yeah, that, that's as simple as it is. And it saved him embarrassment. Yeah, he didn't uh, answer is no, I don't know. I have no idea. I need to ask. It's, it saves time. Yeah, and it just shows your company is more organized. It's a better uh, one. Yeah, another one was from marketing person. Uh, they had some uh, troubles with engineering, and they wanted to find out what, what certain project does and where they can find the person responsible for this project. So they just used Google, they not even went to the handbook, they just used Google, like GitLab engineering projects, and first link is to the handbook, to the engineering page, when we have the list of the projects, and people who are responsible for them, and like section who to talk for what, right? <laughs> that was pretty easy task. Uh, another one, the last one, I really like it. Uh, it was a, uh, from female candidate, and she told me that she, uh, she discussed with her friends that is it dangerous to mention parental, parental leave policy during the interview? Yeah, because it's, it's some questions that can actually uh, affect the decision, right? And it's not yet here. Uh, you kind of, uh, yeah, you kind of not want to ask it if you really want the job, yeah? At least that's a sad reality. So the good thing about it is that she finds the answer in the handbook. So your question, yeah, which otherwise would be left unanswered, yeah, uh, got uh, her an uh, information before even the interview. So she was able to evaluate our company before the interview, get the answer for that important questions, and then she felt really confident, right? So that's few insights on the handbook, yeah. It's just imagine it's more than one thousand pages of text. I cannot <laughs> go through all of it, but I'm open to your questions.